We want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south. We just want to bring you a uh, brief uh, update on the government scandals that we've been bringing to you. Again, uh, if you recall, uh, those who have been following, the Lord put on our heart way back over a year ago that there would be multiple scandals coming to the United States of America's government. There would be some of the greatest scandals in the history of the United States. And what the public would think was happening would boomerang back. And that's exactly what's happening. We uh, mentioned uh, a couple days ago in one of our reports that we have a source who's telling us uh, some serious, serious things are about to happen. And uh, five FBI and DOJ high-ranking employees have flipped on bigger fish. So that's just one of the scandals that is going on that is getting to just the tip of the iceberg. So that's tick-tock, tick-tock as that continues to go. Two other scandals that came out uh, from uh, some of our uh, resources just this week. One is uh, ongoing. There will be more coming this week. It has to do with the Las Vegas shooting, how the FBI has uh, willingly uh, covered up evidence and has not chased certain evidence um, of certain uh, people that are, were, and it could be involved other than the shooter. Some discrepancies in how many uh, in the autopsy of the of the shooter, and uh, also the number of shooters. So there is a huge FBI cover up. As a matter of fact, there was a high ranking FBI in charge uh, told other FBI agents to stand down and not to report this. If they reported it, they would lose their job. And now there are FBI agents coming forward and saying that's enough is enough and we are going to tell the truth. So truth will be coming out in the Las Vegas shooting. Uh, there is massive cover-up uh, from the FBI, and obviously big business is behind this as uh, MGM, a big uh, casino uh, uh, company with uh, Madeline Bay, owners of that, and uh, this, they're looking at hundreds of millions of dollars in civil lawsuits, but you combine those two uh, there's an ample reason why they want to cover this up. They're talking about civil liabilities here. So that was one. Uh, another uh, top-ranking person came forward just uh, yet today. Actually, it was today. And uh, just said that the Clinton Foundation is being investigated, has been investigated uh, th thoroughly for the last uh, several months, and they have claimed uh, this, again, is a well-informed, high-ranking source within the FBI that the Clinton Foundation is much dirtier and much bigger scandal than we've ever seen. And this, this particular person believes that they, that they will go to jail and also believes that um, this will be the biggest scandal, not only in the history of the United States. We're just talking about the Clinton Foundation not any of the FISA reports. That's a whole separate scandal. So we're talking about three major scandals right now, and the fourth one being Uranium One. But back to the Clinton Foundation, he says this is the worst scandal, not only in American history, but could be in world history, because other foreign governments and high-ranking people at, in foreign governments are impacted in this. And this is very serious, and there's very high-ranking, high-named people who have been named and have their hands in the cookie jar, and this is gonna get very, very ugly, and there's nowhere for them, these people to, to, to run. And the evidence is coming out, and people are coming out to show the digital footprint, the electronic footprint of the things that have happened. He went on to say that this Clinton Foundation had touched upwards of $100 billion. So, you know, it's been reported that it was much smaller than that, but the tentacles of this thing have reached so far, so deep, so ugly, so scandalous. And remember the Lord told us that murder is also involved. So this is just heating up. All these scandals are at the tip of the iceberg. Again, this is exactly what the Lord has told us uh, way back a year before any of these scandals happened. And he's also said that it will boomerang and that scandals, plural, the biggest scandals that the United States has ever seen and they are starting to come to fruition. This is only the tip of the iceberg, and this is God's way of cleaning out the sewer. 
cleaning un, out the darknesses, things that have been done in the dark. And the Lord's going to shine his light from east to west to north to south. And he's going to disinfect the evil that's been going on, the Jezebel spirit that has been going through the United States government and being able to get away with it through power, greed, money, and buying off and blackmailing and murder and cover-up. The scales of justice are being weighed. The cup of an iniquity has been filled. The Lord God Almighty is stepping in. And inside this remnant, he is going to put a remnant of godly people coming back to the United States government. And the United States of America will have a revival, a revival of the Holy Spirit and get God back in the government, get God back in the schools and a revival that goes from east to west to north to south all over the United States of a revival that we haven't seen any time ever, getting people's heart back to the Lord. He's going to shine the light. He's going to have godly people come up from within this darkness and be a pillar for his light. And we pray, we pray for each and every one of them that are involved in this, that they repent and they seek the face of the Most High God and ask for forgiveness because the dominoes are about to fall and it's tick-tock and the light is shining on the darkness and there's nowhere to run. The Lord Most High is going to expose it. He's going to expose it for His glory. He's going to expose it so that the United States of America turns towards Him. In their affliction, we will turn towards Him. And this is exactly what's happening. The United States will be reborn and have a revival of godly men and women coming into positions of government, positions inside the government that put God through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, first. So through all these times of darkness that we're going to see unfolding very quickly, we can see the spiritual realm is speeding up faster and faster and faster. You see the events of each day are happening so quick that the natural and the supernatural are speeding up. So we're going to start to see the dominoes fall much, much quicker, and things are going to happen quickly. And the Spirit of the Lord is going to take over the United States of America, and He's going to bring a revival to the people who are called by His name. So this is going to be a glorious time. Even though the darkness is coming on the evil, God is going to shine his light like the morning star coming out a revival to know him personally, to have an intimate relationship with his son. This is the last outpouring of the Holy Spirit. This is the last billion harvest before the Lord comes back and the Lord comes, which is said in the Old Testament, the time of Jacob's trouble. God is pouring his heart to have this mighty revival and that's why he has to clean out the dirty in the, in, in the gutter and the things that have done, been done in the dark. We pray that this has been a blessing to you, this quick update of the government scandals. Be prepared for things to go much faster. And this is the tip of the iceberg. And the dominoes are going to start to fall on all four of these uh, scandals that are all huge. May the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless you through the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. The only way to the Father is through the Son, and we put our trust in Him. We put our trust in the Most High God, and He will deliver. God bless each and every one of you.